Alright guys, so welcome back to another Paircraft video. Today guys, we're going to start with something that I, I found just outside my house. Um, test dummy. Looks pretty cool actually. Bang, 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 bang. Basically you can just use this to test out weapons and such. And I think it's pretty cool actually. Wasn't expecting it, but oh well. Get things like that. So guys, today we are going to begin our journey down blood magic. Um, so if you remember, we are planning on becoming a wizard. And to do that, you do need to be a little bit violent to yourself, um, apparently. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing here. Filling up this blood altar. And we need an item to check how much blood is actually in here. And that item is, if I can get the right button, which button is it? Which button is it? Come on. Uh, okay. That's not it. Um, hello? There we go. Right, there we go. Okay, right button. Okay, so we want to have a look at an item called, if we can actually spell it right, uh, where is it? Um, a, where are you? Teleportation focus. Um, I can't actually find it. Uh, where are you? I had it last time and it was really easy to make. Um, blood orbs. There we go. Weak blood orb. So we need to put a diamond in here with our blood. Now that's going to be pretty easy actually, as long as we can get diamonds of course. And I think we might actually have some already. Let me just jump in here. We might not, I might be totally wrong about that, but if we do then that's awesome too. Okay, so we slipped and I want to quickly also add onto our bronze pickaxe, which we have not upgraded yet, I want to add some um, modifiers to it. So let's see, we are after the tool station. Now if we put our bronze pickaxe in here and then put lapis in, it will automatically put luck on it. So that's that's going to be helpful for getting more than one ore. Um, so I, I never actually checked whether we do have diamonds. Silly of me. Um, so you guys, I, I am trying out the third person thing. I Again, I have done some of... I've hopefully done a few changes. It should have all fixed, um, worked out. I wasn't happy with the footage last time and it didn't really work out the way I wanted to, it to. So I decided to scrap the, the third person footage and instead we are trying this again. Um, so let's see, we want to get for ourselves, uh, is this the right way? 39. I thought we wanted lower than that. Um, so we are trying to get for ourselves some diamonds and we're going to head down here and across here okay so we we have this little pathway here that we've made um and i think we have vein miner on too do we have vein miner apparently we don't have vein miner oh well it's fine um so yeah we want to try and get some diamonds now i wish this worked but it doesn't, so we're going to have to work out a different way of doing things. Might make the hammer at some point. But anyway, we want to find some diamonds to help speed things up. And if I remember the right button, which is V, I can craft us some more torches. I'll put that in there, we'll press G. What is it? What is it? What does that all fan? There we go, K. Okay. It's, it's really annoying playing with these settings, like with settings on vanilla and then having to change them all just because all the other mods are taking them. But I suppose it's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's see, there's some water nearby and I hear a skeleton. Can we do it? No. Nope. Got some uranium ore. That might be interesting at some point. Because we do have a few different mods that use uranium. 
Um, and let's pick up this redstone because we can use this to upgrade our pickaxe as well. And then we'll be, then we'll have a amazing pick, hopefully. So let's just mine this out. Um, we'll grab that. There we go. And we got some ruby ore down here as well. I will take that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's grab this redstone as well. Tick tree starter. So we picked up a resonant. I forget what they're called. Are they resonant somethings? Uh, resonant redstone crystal, and those are helpful with for other things. But we we can get into that later on. Um, I'm just after a diamond right now. One single lonely diamond. Would that be too hard to ask for? In this world, it's it's not really, is it? Maybe it is. Well, we'll keep trying. Got some more redstone here, though. It's always good. And if we do find a diamond or an emerald, we can upgrade our pickaxe and add more durability, which will be helpful. Okay, so we got some iron here also. I won't mind taking that. And we'll keep going. Okay, so let's see, we gonna we gotta hit something soon enough. Please? Anything? Anything at all? Come on. It apparently likes leaving me in out in the cold with this stuff. Alright. Okay, alright, so we just found a mine shaft up here. And my pick's about to break. We're not gonna explore the mine shaft just because we wanna get a diamond ASCP. But we will come back here later on at some point. You know what? This is really, really, really annoying. So we went all the way down that way. And I just came out here, decided to come down here and decided to mine this way. Look at what we hit. Diamonds and a good amount of them too. Um, that was quite annoying, I have to admit, but I will take it. I will take it. Okay, so let's head back up here and we will continue on today's episode as if we didn't have that trouble, which we did. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you may notice I'm also trying to keep these videos short. That's because it's going to be a pain to um, edit both the third person camera and also this and I kind of feel like I need to do both 
Now, I, I know you guys can see the, the recording button up the top corner. That's fine. I don't mind if you see it. We'll just let you know it's, it's running. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will be all good. Okay, so let's start off by putting a diamond on here. Now the damage, the, the durability is 560. If we put a diamond on, it's not going to like it because we have no more um, modified lift. Excuse me, was that, a, was that an Enderman? It's night time. Okay, yes it is. Okay, let's jump in here. Oh, that makes me jump. The mobs are apparently a little too loud for me. Okay, let's, let's just turn down the hostile creatures a little. Okay, so, let's hit up here. On fire too, that's just rude. You're safe, I suppose, Mr. Enderman. Okay, so, here we go. Here's the first thing we got to do. We're going to drop... Well, we're not going to drop, actually. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I see you. I don't like you, but I see you. Nope. Come on. There we go, killed him. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? We are going to put one diamond in here now to make sure it doesn't actually put all five in. I'm just going to split them up. Okay, so if we put a diamond in here, wait a moment. You can see the particles. Liquid life essence. 3.4 billion. I think that's 3.4 billion. Let's top it up a little. Okay, so what are you now? 3.4. Yep, we're waiting. We're waiting. We're just gonna wait for a little while. Shouldn't take too long. You can kill yourself doing this, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Maybe it doesn't have enough blood. Um, how much do you have? 4.6. I thought that would be enough. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so it just takes a bit of time. Okay, so we have what is called a weak blood, blood orb. Now, if we, uh, shift, um, if we put this back in, how, how do we know how much, oh, okay, so now we can right click and store blood in here, in our weak orb. Um, it won't tell us how much there is, so, and we need something else for that. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It is called um, Ritual Diviner. This is it. So we need four diamonds. Elemental inscription. No, that's not it. I said it was an easy one to make. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure there's some something out here. Uh, maybe it is this. But I didn't think you have to make that. That's a magma cream. No, thank you. Demonic slate, imbued slate, for stone. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can need those though. Okay, so we need a divination sigil. That's what we need. So we need an alchemy array. Let's have a look at this and see how hard it is to make an alchemy array. Um, A L C H alchemy, alchemy catalyst, alchemy table. Okay, so we need. Oh boy, we need a blaze rod. Is there an easy way of getting that? Ah, uh, mob drops. Scrap box. Um, not really. Okay. Well. All our plans kind of failed through, for it fell through this episode, didn't it? But regardless of that, I think we've done an okay job today. Um, we're getting our pick better. I want to try and um, see if I can get another modifier on this. And then we will also try and see if we can get some items that we need for our um, really, really query stuff, and I will also look up this thing, the because I have a feeling I know what I need, but I don't know how to get it, because um, it was a divination sigil, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Um, and the only way we can get there is arcane ashes. Ashes are used to draw an alchemy circle. Arcane ashes. Hellfire forge. How do I make a hellfire forge? Hmm. Looks like there's a bit of work involved in this. Bone meal. Maybe this one's not too hard. Because if we look, we need a common toxic gem. What demonic will? Yeah, okay, so this is going to be a bit of fun to get, but we're going to try and get that in the next episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. If you if you know how I'm what I'm doing wrong and you'd love to help me out, I'll also go ahead and comment in the comment section below. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching this episode and have a great day and goodbye. Bye. Alright guys, so, welcome back. Um, in the previous section we were looking at blood magic some more, weren't we? Um, and also a bit of rel reliquary. But I want to keep going with blood magic. And it's actually a couple of days later now, well, almost a week. Um, and I decided I didn't have enough to make this really worth uploading. So we're going to keep going for a little longer. I'm going to try and get stuff done that I should have done. Because last little like, section we started out trying to find diamonds and that was a really sad section. There was no good content in there at all. Not really, apart from finding diamonds. Um, so we are going to start off with creating an item called a... See if we still have it up here. Show it, do we? Do we? Do we? Um... Uh, apparently we don't have it in here because we are after a um, division die <coughs> ritual diviner now we are after one of these and if we remember rightly one of these is made um, maybe it wasn't that it was it was something like that, wasn't it? I'm sorry guys, I'm really being forgetful here. And... At blood. Okay, here we go. This is going to give me it. It was on the third page. It was a divination sigil. And to make this, we needed redstone in an alchemy array. Um, with a blank slate. And blank slate is stone. In a blood altar. Now, to make a um, div divination, wait, let me just go back. We need an alchemy array, right? So let's have a look at an alchemy array. To make an alchemy array, we need a hellfire forge. And to make a hellfire forge, we need iron, gold, a block of iron, and some stone, which is very easy to get actually. Considering we already have most of that in here. Um, apart from gold, it seems, which I thought we did have more gold. That's fine though, we can sort that out. Um, so we need some iron, got our iron, we've got our iron ingots, and I think we might, do we? Want some brass. Okay, let's put our iron in here. We're going to also smelt out this uh, aluminum brass because we don't need it at the moment. Um, we need some more gold. There's some more gold. That's what we're after. Okay, so we need one ingot of gold. Now, I'm just going to chuck it straight in here along with a piece of coal because that's going to be a lot easier than some doing it some ways. Okay, so we got ourselves the block of aluminum brass, which we don't need at the moment. Um, let's cook up a block of molten tin also, just so we've got this running. I kind of want to see if I can get this running 24-7, just like we get as much stuff input as we get output. And then again, I also don't want to go towards the tech side of things, because I am trying to be a uh, wizard and... Doing tech side of things isn't really going to be working out too well with that. Okay, so we have our two ingots of iron. We have our gold. 
Do we have any stone? Do we have one piece of stone? No, that's this copper ore. Uh, stone. I thought we had some stone in here. Yes, we do, right there. Okay, so we have our stone. And we have, once this is finished, our block of iron. Let's get that one going too. There we go. Alright, so, let's see if I can get this first try, shall we? So, it's block of iron right there. And gold there. Stone on either side. And iron on the top. Yes, I did. I got it right. First try. Okay, now we're going to put this up here. We're going to make this like our little, little bottom magic area. Um, let's put it here. And now if we right click on this, we get this. Now we want to make an arcane, arc, arcane, uh, where are you? Um, it was a divination, right? Div, divination, sigil, alchemy. It was an arcane, it was alchemy. Alchemy, alchemy, um, not five forge. So we need redstone, bone meal, coal, and gunpowder, and demonic will. We're going to have to make another demonic thing. I think we're going to need another snare. We're going to need us another snare, guys. Not that that was too hard to make in the first place, but we did mess it up a couple of times. Okay, so we're going to need a demonic snare. I mean, a demonic will. And I'm guessing, put the demonic will in the middle and then the other items around there. Show recipes, maybe? Yes, I think that's right. I don't think it matters where we put it, just as long as we put it where it's supposed to go. Okay, so let's head back in here. We have most of it except for the demonic will. Because it is pretty simple items to get. Okay, so let's see. Do we have enough string? Please let me have enough string. And it looks like, I don't know about this one, but it looks like I don't have enough string. No, I do not. So we are going to have to kill some sheep. Where are you going? I think you're going to get away from this. From the side of this hill you might, but no, you're not getting away from this. Your friends might not either, just because I don't know how much wool I'm going to take, going to need. Yeah, they're not going to get away from this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry sheep lovers, but I need their wool. And it, I, I can repay them later on, I promise. If it's really that bad, I will repay you later on. We will start a sheep farm and get millions and millions of sheep. And then it will all be paid off. Because, yeah. Okay, so let's head over this way. Let's head back to our storage facility. Uh, well, not just our storage facility, it's our base, isn't it? First step is going to be collecting a demonic will. So we can use that in our. Hellfire Forge. Now I also don't know whether there is a specific way we're supposed to have everything. If there is, then well, too bad, so sad. There we go. Come on, wool. And that one. There we go. We got more than enough string now. So it was string, iron, redstone. So we have everything except the iron in our inventory. So let's do that. There are four rudimentary snares. Now we want to try and get another demonic will because if we can do that we get we're on our way to being awesome. Not that we aren't already. But you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, so the holes down here that we made, if you remember. And if we come down here. Gonna climb all the way down. Back to where we've been before. Just because it's gonna be a whole lot easier attacking things that we know about. 
Okay, so we're looking for any animal that's nearby that we can use as... Ah! Hello. Come on, climb up. Okay, so we're here. How do we want to play this? Let's see. Okay, so we got that guy. Let's come down here. And we'll go... There we go. So, as when white particles are on, we can hit him. And we'll get the demonic quill. There we go. We got it. First try. We're getting a good, we're gonna get rid of this guys. Don't worry. We're gonna be like pros at this by the time we actually don't need any more demonic quills. <laughs> actually let's try this. Let's let's get a second one just in case. Are you gonna give me it? Fine! Just no demonic will for you. Ah, fine, that's fine. We've got this. We got this. Okay. So we got that first try. It's good work. Now the rest is very simple. We needed coal, we needed bone meal. And we need some two other things if I remember rightly. Let me just head back there and we can check that out. So that's that we're really close to a village too, especially a village that has a cave underneath it. Because it means that um, we then get all the resources from both. Because the cave means a nice area to explore, and yeah. Okay, so we wanted an alchemy table, right? So we want redstone, bone meal, coal, and gunpowder. Now we should have most of that. We've got coal, we have redstone, we have gunpowder, we have we can turn that into bone meal. So let's turn uh, press the right button. Nope. Which button is it? V. There we go. We have bone meal and we have our demonic quill. Let's head over to the health wish table and see if it will automatically recognize the recipe for us. So there, 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 there. Oh, it's doing something. It's doing something. And we get arcane ashes. Our ashes used to draw an alchemy table. Now the question is what do we do with the alchemy table? So we have alchemy array. Hmm. <clears throat> Alchemy table. Is this used in anything? I don't know. Because we are after the divination sigil. And that is an alchemy array. So we have alchemy ashes. Ashes used to draw no. Okay, here's where the question becomes. How do we do this? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So let's say we. I, I just had to try that just to make sure it would work. So we want to put redstone in to here with a blank slate. Now, if we grab this, I don't know how long that will last or if it will last. And come over here, we right click on this, it's still going to do that, and we also need some redstone. So we need to wait for the blank slate to happen and then we need some redstone. Now if I've gotten this right, and I hope I have, we need to put both things in the alchemy array. There's a blank slate. Give come here. So we want to put this. It's gone in. Okay. And we need our item. Okay, so what do, what happens? It's going it's in there. Do we get anything from it? Um Hello. We used to draw an alchemy circle. I don't know whether we're supposed to get anything from it. 
Well, we didn't get anything from it, so I don't know. Um, hmm. Give me a second, I'm going to read up on this, guys. Alright, so I think I've got it worked out, um, and it's gone, so let's, let's just remake this. So, we have to put these in in a specific order. So, if we look at the thing, it says redstone, blank slate, and then we get it. So, if we put the redstone in first, we get this. It looks different now. Now we put the blank slate in, and there we go. Alright, so it's doing its thing. It's very, very fancy. Ooh, I like it. And it's going smaller and smaller, and we just made the division schedule. Now, with the division schedule, we can work out how much life points things are holding. So, we have a tier 1 here. has, in the essence, it has 5,200 life points in it, but it has a capacity of 1,000. And if we put more in, we get, I can upgrade that too. So, that is the start of Blood Magic, and... That is the start of our steps towards becoming a blood magic magician. I I did start out. I, I did a bit of looking, and I thought there was another way of doing it, and I tried it, and it didn't work. So whatever. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are slowly but surely getting into blood magic. I'm gonna try and get things set up so that we can jump a bit further ahead in the next episode or two. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or anything else, or ideas, comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't liked or subscribed to, to, this, to my channel or this video, go ahead and do both of those. So you can show me that you like my videos, and you can show me that you like my channel also. Um, other than that guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. When we will be hopefully getting further into blood magic. I'm so excited for this, guys. So, yeah. See you then. Bye.